Good morning. Please excuse the camera. I'm driving, as you can see. I'm on a little road trip. I'm going from Southampton to, Christ, I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going. Bridport, Dorset, West Country. <laughs> I love the West Country. It's just trees everywhere, love it. Right, this is a quick video to say thank you very much to the 150 people that subscribe to my channel. Awesome. Thanks guys, and girls, whoever you are. Um, I want to reply to a comment I had this morning from Dan. I can't remember your name, sorry. Dan Brock, Brocken, Brocken, brr, 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 brr. something like that. Thanks for your comment, pal. I really appreciate comments and yeah, I need to explain stuff better. I just skew off on a tangent and don't know what I'm talking about. So, answer to your question. In the last video, I was just supplying the bottom motor with a, with a constant voltage, not a constant current, constant voltage. So it was completely, they had no feedback in it or anything. And, and me slowing down the motor was, was the drag that the top one was producing. So the more I, I put the brake on, the slower it, it pulled it down in speed, it, so it was just pulling its speed down. And for your bike, if you're going to use an Arduino and do a sketch for it, you don't need two motors, just use one, because a motor is essentially a generator anyway. So that's all good. Um, all you want to do, well, what I would do, is just put some simple conditional if statement in there. Um, if So hook up a relay or a contactor to a, one of your output pins. And if you use an Arduino language, just say um, if, uh, if analog read, pin 13, uh, sorry, whatever, A0, whatever pin your accelerator pop throttles on, if that equals to zero, and if your other ADC input is equal to more than zero, so both those conditions have to be met, then uh, dig digital write the pin to your relay, which will switch the motor over to the regen, and then still, still PWM on your brake pot. Off the top of my head, that's the simplest way I can think to do it. I'm sure there's many, 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 many other ways. I just thought of that just now. So you can then, then as you brake, it'll, with your contactor switched over, it'll pump your power back into your super caps. Hey. And then obviously when, when you finish braking, you'll let go of that, of that brake pedal, uh, sorry, lever, you'll let go of the brake lever, and then the if statement will be not true, and it will shut down that digital right pin to the relay, which will switch back onto your um, drive. So switch between drive and brake, drive and brake. So that'll switch back to drive, and, and then you can accelerate again when, when needed. And that, that should, something like that should work really well. And that's what I was going to do, but I don't want to do a DC motor controller. Uh, my, the, my big aim is to build a humongous AC variable frequency drive for an electric van. Um, and an electric boat. So me and the missus have got this cool boat, which missus's dad Trevor kindly give to us. He don't want it anymore, he just he had enough of it. But it's a lovely boat. It, it really needs an overhaul, but yeah, that should be cool. Get an electric um, boat into that. It's like a weekend cruiser, 36 foot thing. So that's, yeah, looking forward to doing that. It's just having the time and the money. That's the only, that's the only thing in life that draws you back. Time and money. <laughs> so yeah, again, thank you for everyone who subscribed. I really appreciate it. Very, very heartfelt thank you. So thanks guys and girls. Um, what else was I gonna say? I think I'm gonna do a little segment every Friday because I don't think photonic induction's coming back for any time soon. And I miss that guy. Someone on, on Facebook about a month ago, I miss him and I haven't even found him yet. He said, um, check this guy out. And I was like, wow, this guy just blows stuff up. He's well cool. Where's he gone? I like him. So, that's a shame. 
Photonic induction message for you, sir. I'm gonna try and blow stuff up as cool as you do every Friday, just to celebrate the fact that it's a Friday. I love Fridays, they're great. It means you don't have to work for two days, doesn't it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, every Friday I might just blow stuff up. I don't know what the things I find on the side of the road. I'll, I'll start just looking. Oh, look, there's an old Henry. Grab it, just like a proper pikey. I've been told I'm a pikey. So I'll have to live up to the expectations, won't I? Yeah, so I'll try and do that every Friday. I might call it, let's, you know, let's be really creative. Blow stuff up Fridays. Because <laughs> let's face it, blowing stuff up is fun. I know it's childish, but secretly you all love it. I know I do. Anyway, again, thank you. Catch you later. I'm stuck in traffic now, of course because I'm in the UK and it's 20 past seven in the morning. So yeah, I'll just park here for a while on the road. <laughs> See you later, bye guys.